Hello everyone, welcome to another tutorial. Today I will be showing you how to send logs from your FortiGate appliance into Curator. Um, so this applies to um, FortiGate uh, either if you have a hardware appliance or if you have a virtual machine that you're using for testing purposes, it will work. Um, as long as you have the version um, from 5.2 to 6.2.7, I believe. Um, so it's very straightforward. Um, most of the configuration is being done on the FortiGate appliance itself or virtual machine. Um, Curator will automatically detect the log sources once it starts receiving them automatically. If it doesn't, if it keeps telling you that the things are unknown, if it keeps detecting the events as unknown, you want to give it a couple of minutes, maybe 15 minutes, it should automatically detect that those are uh, 40 gate logs and create an automatic log source for it. However, if it doesn't, all you need to do is log in into your Curator UI and go ahead and create a simple um, log source for it. So what we're going to do here is start with the FortiGate appliance. So you want to log into your user interface. You want to go to logs and report. Um, you want to go to log settings. You go all the way to the bottom and you will, this would be off. You will have to turn it on. And all you need to do is input the IP address of your Q Radar appliance or virtual machine. In this case, we'll be using a Q Radar Community Edition or Q Radar CE for testing purposes because this is in my um, test lab environment. So you put the IP address. Um, you can configure some other stuff in here if you want to resolve the host names you turn them on resolve unknown applications you can turn it on log settings you want to um, log everything for the event logs and traffic logs everything if you want to customize you can also do that um, in my case i'm going to use everything because i want to be able to see everything that's going in and out through the firewall. Um, you can also turn on the address, um, login and the traffic logs. Okay. Um, if you wanted to use cloud login, you can, but in this case, we're focusing on curator. So you just turn the send logs to syslog on, put in the IP address or the fully qualified domain name, and you apply to save changes. Once that's done, you go to your Curator appliance or that um, Curator appliance or um, virtual machine and you should be able to see the logs. If I go on here and filter logs by IP address, so we'll do source or destination IP. I'll put in the IP of my FortiGate firewall. one add and then we'll filter real time and at this point you should see that your 40 gate firewall was automatically um, detected mine the name looks different here because i did go into the admin tab to the log source and i changed the name when it detects it, the name is going to be FortiGate Appliance Log Source, something within those lines. And once again, like I said, if you did not automatic, if QWERTA does not automatically detect that log source, you can go to the admin tab. You go to the log source management app if you have that. If not, you go to the legacy app. You click on add a new log source. You give it a name, 
description if you want and you're going to search for forty gate security gateway you give the you put in the log source identifier which is the ip address or the host name and then you will save it once you do that you're going to have to deploy changes if you add the um, log source manually so once you deploy changes you should be able to see your logs from your FortiGate firewall thank you for watching this quick video hit the like button if you like the video please subscribe to my channel